Moon over Parma is my love to me tonight. <laughs> I, you know what? I was on that show for eight years and I've just got the theme tune wrong. <laughs> I got... I did. You know, I was trying to do the... Uh, I was trying to do the, uh, the, uh, the Drew Carey show and I did Elmo's World. <laughs> I started off with moon over Parma, did, 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 and then with that's Elmo's world. <laughs> anyway, this is awesome because, you know, I used to play Mr. Wick on the Drew Carey show, and this is how I practiced. I used to, like, have this, and I'd go over and I'd go, Carey, you're fired. And he'd go, oh, Mr. Wick, you British bastard. <laughs> It's a great thing, actually, isn't it? <laughs> you know, if we'd have had this when we were doing the Drew Carey show, we'd still be on the air. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Drew, the real one, you know, the full-size one. <laughs> actual size. But <laughs> Drew, the, Drew Carey is actually on the show tonight. Now, Drew is an old friend of mine, as you know, and, and he, uh, he, he might be, his feelings might be hurt if he sees this, so... Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, that's how you know we... Hey, mister! That's... Um, that's how you know you've made it when people make little string puppets out of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? So what? Someone should make a little string puppet out of you. Boy, that's not a sex thing. What are you doing? <laughs> is a string puppet? It's like, oh, would you like a string puppet? Is that a sex thing? No, no, it's not a sex no. thing. It's not a sex thing. Anyway, look, let's try because people are always saying to me, bring back the puppets, Craig. And to these people, I say, take your medication. But the, uh, <laughs> but I think I might bring back the puppets for this. It's just like, oh, <laughs> oh, Mimi, you're always getting me into trouble with the boss. <laughs> Mr. Wick will be here, and now we'll be in trouble. Oh, where's Mrs. Slaughter? <laughs> this would be great if it was like Drew Carey Puppet Kung Fu Theater. We'll be right back to the show, everybody. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Ford. Go further. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. You love me, and now I will make out with all of you. You too, ladies. Uh, I'm hinting that I'm bi curious there. Did you see that? Yo, yeah, oh, I think I think you're doing more than hinting. Yeah, all right, Dad. Hey, I'm saying, you know what? I'm saying, hey, hey, you know, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm saying like, hey, hey. Listen, hey. that'll be our new catchphrase. Yeah, Let's do yeah. that. All right. Hey. Hey! 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 Hey!
it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> It is, it is, in fact, it is a great day for former President Bill Clinton. He said, he, he's on the Tweety. He got on the Tweety Pie. He's on the thing. He sent out his... <laughs> tweety, tweety Pie. It's yeah. a cartoon character. It's... <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he sent out his first tweet today. This is him doing it. See, that's how I'm doing it. He got the hang of it very quickly. He just needed 13 characters in his first tweet to deliver his very important message of... <laughs> That's the Clinton thumb right there. That's it. When he uses that thumb, you go. <laughs> Simon Cowell uh, said today he doesn't mind if all people, you know, he doesn't mind at all if people think he's gay. And gay people were like, yeah, we mind though. <laughs> Hugh Hefner, uh, this is true. You, you know Hugh Hefner, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, you don't know. I don't know him personally. I do. He's been on the show, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Has he? Yeah, he has. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a while back. Yeah. I mean, what? It, it, it was? Yeah, he has been here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was awesome. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but he's selling the Bunny House, which is the house next door to the Playboy Mansion. It's quite a property. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms, wall to wall hairpiece. It's the place for you! <laughs> of course, all of this tomfoolery, this jiggery pokery, this making merry, you know I'm just covering up my tension. <laughs> I'm very tense about the crisis in Asia right now, and the North Koreans are at me about to test the, a new weapon system. As we all know, North Korea ruled by Kim Jong un. You get a picture of him? There he is. Now look at this guy. <laughs> Is that a tiny book or is he a giant? <laughs> I think he may be a giant! <laughs> but it's all, it's all perspective. We have to see him in relation to something else. Let's see him next to something we also you know is huge. Do we. Yes! Look how big he is! He's a giant! Yeah. <laughs> can't quite, I can't quite gauge your reaction to that, whether it's, yeah, Kim Jong-un, or Kardashians, or just all of you, uh, basically. Anyway, I'm talking about North Korea. For those of you who don't know, uh, we got a map of the North Korea area. There you are, North Korea there. Narnia is up there. China Phillips, China Phillips. Geography isn't my big thing. Anyway, look, <laughs> the, the real crisis, uh, it, it, it's really, you know, it's, it's dangerous over there. Over the, over the weekend, the, the premier of China told Kim Jong-un to chill out. Now, when the premier of China tells you to chill out, you, that's, like, that's like Mel Gibson saying, whoa, easy on the tequila. That's, that's like somebody... <laughs> That's like, uh, what, what is that like, Jeff? That's like, that's like uh, Charlie Sheen saying, that's enough hookers. Right, exactly. It's like, that's like, uh, that's like, um... <laughs> <laughs> Try to talk about the Korean missile crisis. You do a Charlie Sheen hooker joke and they go crazy. Yeah, they go nuts. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, anyway, yesterday Japan were given warnings too. They said uh, if North Korea tests the new weapon, Japan will have to, no choice but to set up their own missile defense system. An adorable system with Hello Kitty things on the side. <laughs> you know, this is unprecedented though. First China and now Japan. I haven't seen this many people turn against a fat Korean guy this quickly since the Gangnam Style thing. Ha ha! <laughs> It's over, yeah, it's over. Apparently, apparently the Gangnam style thing is over. I'm like you, young people. I, I'm bored with it. <laughs> I think the truth to tell is the minute I know about it, it's over. <laughs> Anyway, the North Koreans, dealing with uh, them has been very difficult. They have a history of, of making irrational decisions to divert the world's attention away from the fact that their system has totally collapsed. No, wait, sorry, I'm thinking about NBC. Ah, -ha -ha! <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right there! <laughs> wait, 
right, right. So let me get this straight. What you like is Charlie Sheen hooker jokes, right? Uh, well, Kardashian jokes and anti NBC rhetoric. Is that the kind of thing? Yeah. Then, let me assure you, you've come to the right place. <laughs> anyway, uh, some people think you know the weapons test thing in North Korea is just a, a grab for money, but that makes no sense. Kim Jong Un doesn't need money. He's already got full funding from his last project on Kickstarter. You got a picture of his Kickstarter page? Look, there he is, right there. <laughs> I'm not worried about North Korean missiles. Here in LA, we've got the full, uh, foolproof uh, missile defense shield. You know, it's a smog right there. It's just hanging there. <laughs> if you set a missile over it, it would just like go, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Look like that, wouldn't it, Jeff? Yeah, do, do that again. Do all right, that again. then. Hey, here, here's coming over, all right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, I'm so turned on right now. Ah, no. Aren't you, are you worried about that? Are you worried about the... the no, man, I'm dead already. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is that. <laughs> North Korea is so unstable, the State Department has banned American citizens visiting there for any reason at all, which means Jay-Z and Beyonce will be there any day now. <laughs> I had to look that up. I didn't know what that was about. Apparently they went, apparently they went to Cuba and everyone's very upset. That was it. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> where Jay Z and Beyonce go in their honeymoon, that's who. It's not their honeymoon, is it? I don't know. They married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, pop culture's my thing, as you know. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're on the pulse. Yeah, yeah no, people. it's there. It was, no, it, see, what happened was. <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce, they went to Cuba, and everyone's like, hey, knock it off. And they're like, what? <laughs> I think that's what happened. Is that what happened? <laughs> Look, you know, if you've made it through all the other TV shows, you've picked something up along the way. You're not going to get anything here. <laughs> Did I get it right with the Jay-Z and Beyonce thing? I got it right, right? Because you know what's going on with that, right? You follow the pop culture, you read the... the what's that? What are you doing? What, what's, are you all right? You having a, what, are you having a stroke? What's happening? <laughs> oh, you're looking at the Twilight thing. That's nothing to do with Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know nothing, I hate you! <laughs> hey, wait, 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 not a real horse! <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show where tonight we are going crazy, right, John? You're out of control, we are man. Out of control. What I did there is a very cynical television trick. I manufactured enthusiasm for nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Isn't that right, Jack? That's right, Greg. Isn't that right, wow. Jack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of creepy when you see it done like that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of kind of manipulative. It is kind of cynical. It's almost as if television people don't really have any respect for the audience at all. <laughs> no, providing them with quality entertainment like a Drew Carey puppet or something. <laughs> or, a, or a Drew Carey kung fu puppet, no less. Uh, a man can only dream. <laughs> well, not really. I say a man can do many things. And, and, a, mo and, and, and a moomin. <laughs> the moomin, the, mo the moomin, A moomin, Sean? yeah, it's a moomin. It's an old Scottish word for lady. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's Street Mail Time, brought to you by Kim Jong Undies, giving your long or short range missile the support it needs. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Thank you. That was good. That Thank was you. like proper humor. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's great. You'll be getting that Hasty Fig Pudding Award that they give to people. What's that called again? Oh, the, the Hasty Fig Pudding Award. Yeah. 
<laughs> they give you an award. You do jokes like that, you'll get an award, buddy. Get awards for that stuff? Yeah. Okay. They dish them out all the time. You tell a couple of jokes, you get an award. We, uh, we, we getting any awards lately? We getting any awards? <laughs> I haven't noticed any coming in recently, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we just wait and see if one turns up. Don't applaud. I know you want to, but don't. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, uh, it's tweets and emails, right? You ready? Let's do our own jingle. Yeah, yeah. Tweets and emails. All right, we get two minutes. We got all these to do. We better go. What we got to do? Quickly, there's no time. There's no Read time. the tweets go, quickly. Go, go, go. All right. This is from Mike in Portland, Oregon. You ever been there? Beautiful place. Wow, what a place. Man. Portland, oh, Oregon. Yeah. That's where they got that. The, the thing, the trees. Yeah, the trees, yeah. <laughs> Mike was saying, uh, Craig, I was wondering if Jeff and Secretariat wanted to hit the town while I'm here. Uh, you guys want to go out with Mike? Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is from Margo in Wilmington, North Carolina. Dear Craig and Jeff, any idea how Drew Carey's soccer team's doing? I'll ask him when he comes out. Uh, <laughs> this is from David in Minneapolis. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Can you recommend a good lawyer? I really need one. This is from Marie in Spokane. She's a, a proud-looking woman, Marie, isn't she? Look at that. Wow. Proud. Proud Marie. <laughs> uh, she said, who is the most famous Scottish chef? Oh, that's easy. It's uh, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, Scottish chef. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Whiskey. Marie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! You were like, oh, you guys just make haggis. Wrong, Marie! <laughs> Wrong! Gordon Ramsay's from Scotland. You can tell because he's angry! Angry! <laughs> Get, a, get out of my kitchen! You're a disgrace to sausages! <laughs> <laughs> this is from a concerned fan in Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, is Secretary at gaining weight? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, maybe, a little bit. Oh! What? What? What's that? Oh, you can't stand up, fatty? What's going on? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Come on! All right. Kick his ass. Kick his yeah, ass, I'll man. I'll kick his ass. Oh, you are. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> are you talking to me or the horse? Yeah, I was talking to you, man. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, from Sal in South Philly. Uh, yo, Craig and Jeff. Yo, what's up? Yo. 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 What's up? What's up? All right. Uh, any thoughts on how to balance the federal budget? What the hell? I, I think you got the wrong show, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, probably the thing to do is, you know, spend uh, some stuff and then don't spend all you know, money in that. <laughs> What is the federal budget anyway? What is that? Kick his ass, man. Yeah, Kick his yeah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is from Alex and Marnie in Huntington Beach, California. Dear Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Peterson. Well, that's charming, isn't wow. it? Well, that's is charming. You are cordially invited to our wedding. Oh. It's on the beach at sunset in Laguna on the third Saturday in June. Will either of you come? No, but many hobos watching free TV will. <laughs> I'm imagining there's probably free snacks for a beach... <laughs> I mean, if I was a beach-loving hobo and I saw a wedding going on, I'd be like, eh, I'll go over there, it's going to be embarrassing for them not to give me something. <laughs> Plus, it may be bad luck. Is it bad luck not to feed people that turn up at your wedding, is it? No, 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 not at all. So you can just, like, turn people away? Sure, yeah, it's cruel. <laughs> no, you don't agree with that? I have to say, when you do that thing, you know, with your head, you look a little fat. 
<laughs> Kick his ass, man. Oh, shut Kick up. Shut up! We have to go... Uh, no, we, I know we have to go to a commercial break, but I so don't want to, just to annoy Michael. Yeah, take control. Take back control. I'll, ta I'll take control. Rage against the machine, man. Do it, man. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Price is Right, which airs weekdays on CBS. My friend Drew Carey, Awesome, man. You on doing Pilates or something? Like, look I at work, you. I work out, you know. Yeah, but I mean, you're like... Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> you're good. You look like you. really good. Like the buff. Suit. Like, it's the know. suit. Yeah, a good suit makes anybody look good, man. Really? Yeah. I was talking... You know what? This is like, uh, you women can... I was talking to some women, and we came up with a, women? a list Women? Where of... are they? I'd like to meet them. <laughs> And we came up with a list of uh, village people, if women had picked the village people instead of gay guys. Yeah. And uh, so women's, like, sexual icons, and they came up with right away, fireman, top of the list. I don't know why. And then uh, <laughs> cowboy. And third was a uh, sexy businessman, like a guy in a suit. Really? Yeah. And then it was uh, bad boy and uh, uh, musician and athlete. Wait, 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 what does a bad boy dress like? Like, you know, like a scruff, you know, leather jacket, that kind of thing. Wait, wait, it's... So like, listen, so listen. Wait, wait, I asked what, her, I said, what, what, what about the funny guy next door? The funny guy next door? I know, what happened to the guy that makes you laugh? Like, what about him? Dude? Where do I fit in? And she, the woman goes, you can be their manager. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, I'm like, oh, yeah, you want to meet my sexy friends? I got a lot of sexy friends. You want to come over and meet my good-looking friends? <laughs> But dude, you're not you're not the you're not the roly poly funny man next door. You're the buff, handsome businessman with the glasses, and like madman, like the Price is Right, like average funny retail price. price. Is right host. Yeah, yeah. You still yeah. got that? You got, you got that little microphone? Yeah, I got yeah, it. You, you, I want you to do something about that, man. No, it's handy. No, when you're talking to contestants, all you have to do is flick it over like that, and it doesn't get in their way. It's not like going like. Oh this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that annoys people. Do it again. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody asked me earlier on, how's your soccer team doing? Uh, they're uh, starting out slow. <laughs> starting out slow, but it's a long season and they're about to come back. So don't give up on the Sounders. Yeah, you there know. you are. Yeah, don't give up. Yeah. Hey, come on. Shut up. Sorry, Drew. These people don't know what you're talking about. They're American. Uh, so I we, we I, when I'm talking to the Price is Right audience, I think everybody wants to talk about soccer. And as soon as I bring it up, people yeah, are they, like, they don't. Yeah, no. watch, looking around. They don't care. Yeah. I'm, ama I'm always, I I'm constantly amazed by your love of soccer, given the fact that when we were working together, you didn't want anything to do with it. it I didn't like, know anything about it. Right, right. Do yeah. you know? No, that's my favorite sport. Like, I can't follow. People ask me baseball and football questions, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I have to take my way through ever like. See, but do you, do, are you good with stats and stuff like that on European soccer? Because I can't keep up with guys here. If I try to talk sports with anybody here, I'm lost. Because you guys grew up with it. I only got here like after rehab, so I'm yeah, done. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's amazing the stuff you remember from when you're on drugs. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> none, none of it to do with sports. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you know that thing when you were talking about? I just think you were talking about the uh, the village people. Like yeah, you yeah. described, it was pretty much the same as the gay guy village people, though, wasn't it? No, no, because they had a big motorcycle guy on a construction. Well, that's the bad boy, right? Just not exactly. <laughs> and they had a construction worker and an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Native American. Indian. I know you're from Cleveland, yeah. but Native American. No, they had it. <laughs> yeah. Well. I don't think he'd say that if you were a Native American, because he looked like he was in an Indian <laughs> Yeah, maybe, yeah, you might be right. A little loincloth. You go, you yeah, you, you know, uh, the, uh, Nicole, remember Nicole? She's, sure, she's the one that told that line, said, you could be the manager. And that was like her second best line she ever got off on me. The first best lines were on her way to see the first James Bond movie with, uh, with uh, Daniel Craig. Oh, right, the, the first Daniel Craig one. I still yeah, the first, first James first Bond. first Daniel movie. Craig one. Right. Uh, Casino Royale. And right. Because she had seen the scene where he comes out of the ocean in his little Speedo, you know? Yeah, yeah, like the, the gay dolphin yeah. when he comes out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, whatever with that dude. He's yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Going 
go to a comedy club for 10 minutes. Yeah. Daniel Craig, whatever. So, uh, yeah, let's to... see how we do it in the laugh factory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the improv for Yeah, yeah. Minutes. Tell us a joke, Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have to. Yeah. Shirt, 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 yeah. pose. Yeah. So, we're walking across the street to the theater, Manchester Theater, I'll never forget it, across on Hollywood Boulevard. I look at her, I go, uh, what has James Bond got that I ain't got? And she looks at her, she goes, two O's and a seven. <laughs> That's very good. Hey, did you see? Did you see the new one though? Did you see Skyfall? Amazing. Oh my God, that's a fantastic movie, isn't Amazing. it? And oh, I love the, the the song with the Skyfall. Da, 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 da. Ever since that, ever since that comment, ever since that comment from the first movie, like every Daniel Craig James Bond movie I see now, I root for the villain. I, every time he gets hurt, I'm like, yeah, hit that dude again. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, in this, one, in this one, I thought it was fantastic. Because was I was old school Bond. I was like, you know, Sean Connery, that's the that was Bond. Good, uh, Skyfall was a good coming of age. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, little James Bond grew up and got rid of his mother and got rid of his old house and his car. I didn't get that from the movie. The, the, he called the... The, the, the house that, Skyfall, yeah. Yeah, they, they called her, uh, he called her mum all the time, and then she died. Oh, so. yeah. If you haven't seen the movie yet, she died. <laughs> Maybe she dies, maybe she doesn't die. I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, we can't remember because we were hot. <laughs> no, we weren't. Are you doing more of that? Who's who times? But are you doing more of that? Uh, <laughs> That's doing... right. The, the guy from Price is Right and Craig Ferguson just shared a joint on TV. <laughs> you know, you know, that would make the news, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. I don't do any yeah. of that anymore. You don't do I don't any think of it. I don't think it would make the news, honestly. No, you know what? It wouldn't. People go too crazy now. They're running around with their yeah. pants off. Like that's stuff. all they're doing is. Yeah, a couple of old white guys smoking a reefer ain't nothing anymore, no. man. No. Yeah, no. no but you're all clean living now. Look at you. You're all kind of like. Yeah, I'm, too I, I'm amazed at what you've done yourself. I mean, you really put, pulled it together, man. It's like, it's, it's I gotta crazy. Put, you know what I like about it the best is I can't buy it. Like, I have yeah. to work, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? I have to go to the gym and work. I have to watch my diet. I can't just go to, like, pay money and go, like, poof, you know? It's great. <laughs> you can pay your money and go poof, but it won't get you in shape, <laughs> man. <laughs> and, and listen... <laughs> How much does that cost? Yeah, uh, so if I wanted to go poof, how much would that yeah. be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think we better take a break. Michael's sweating a little bit over there. <laughs> we'll be right back with Drew Carey, everybody. Yeah. That was a big week on Price is Right. Yeah, you, what was that, like a way, million dollars you gave away million that dollars. week? We offered a million dollars of the prizes during the week. I'm not going to over a million dollars during the week on daytime, and including some of the biggest prizes we ever offered, like in the show. And that Ferrari thing just about broke my heart. Yeah. That... I'm not going to say how it turned out, but it broke my heart. <laughs> so wait, she dies? <laughs> Might as well have. Oh, man, that's <laughs> awful. Are you still uh, riding around in that little uh, pooty poot thing you've got? The scooter? Uh, I mean, my manly Vespa? You've changed, Ooh. man. I have changed. <laughs> hey, so are there a lot of Catholics in uh, Scotland? Sure. Are you Catholic? No. Oh. <laughs> Is there Catholic? Because they've got the new Pope, right? Yeah, yeah. The w one dies, another one popes up. That's how right. it happens. <laughs> but the old guy didn't die. That's the right. That's died. right. That's right. He just retired, right? Yeah, yeah. And now he's living in the same town, not far away from the new pope, right? Just hanging out. And the new pope's out trying to lead his flock, do, this, do his thing. And the old pope's just kind of hanging out. I smell sick, okay, He's all yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Crikey. Bob Barker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Man, I love I, I, it'd be better for me to try and think who you didn't upset right there. <laughs> no, I love him, but he's like, he's like always there. The price is right. Yeah, like yeah. People yeah. bid, like they go, I bid uh, 420 Bob. Oh, sorry, I mean Drew. <laughs> Still. And we always say, you know, fly for the, it's always from the Bob Barker studio. Yeah, but I get that with but Craig Kilborn. Like, You're talking about, um, people come in and say, I'm your biggest fan, Mr. Kilborn. I'm like, yeah. I've been doing this for 10 uh -oh. years. <laughs> I'm very sure they miss Craig Kilburn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on. But man. I always wish, like, Johnny Carson was back on the air and stuff. Like, I get it. 
Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. But it's like the old Pope's going to be like that. I thought right away, I thought, oh my God, it's like he's going to be like the Pope Pope. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a Catholic. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I don't know how much like the Pope can sway things. Like, like, all right, it's a whole new thing. Everybody wears little hats now. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of people do it. I mean, not as much anymore, right? No, but I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's like, if he can just like change everything. I don't like. If I, I like. I think they have a structure. It's not like the new pope because then he goes, all right, get all rid of all of that old stuff. It's new pope time. You know, it's not. right. It's like being the president. You can only do so right, much. Right, little bits, little bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's your topical events. Whatever. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing up? Go to bed. Oh wait, wait. Go no. turn to another station and buy something. Go get an infomercial and buy something, you lazy. Yeah, yeah you're stupid pissing idiot. off the horse, man. You're pissing off the horse. Look. <laughs> Come and get me, you fat horse. <laughs> Come and get me, fatso. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> She's a beautiful star of Suburgatory. She's in a new film, Evil Dead. You wouldn't be saying that if the Evil Dead were here now. You'd be going, be like Jeff, but evil. The Evil Dead. Yeah. The movie's in theaters now. It's the number one movie in the country, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like Evil Dead. Take a look at this. See that noise at the end? That was me. <laughs> Because I was scared. <laughs> Jane Levy, everybody, Jane Levy. Hello, Jane. Hi. You look very, very nice indeed, if I may say so. Thank is you it, very is much. it Levy or Levy? Did I say it right? It's Levy. Levy, good. Yeah. I did, is that chair a little high for you? Hold yeah. on a second. <laughs> I got something in here. Here it is over here. We keep it in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Stick him on there. There you are. I, my feet don't touch the ground when I sit on like subways still. I'm, really? Yeah, you don't have to short. take the subway anymore. You're a movie star. I, start, I take the subway sometimes when really? I'm in New York. Really? In LA? No, never ever once been on the subway in LA. No. Have you? No, I lived here 18 years. I've never gone on it. I'd be scared. It's an earthquake zone. What happens if it's an earthquake and you're in the subway? I don't know. I'd make that noise like at the end of that clip. That's what happened. <laughs> Although they say it's safe. But, you know. <laughs> Where are you? Are you from LA? No, I'm from Northern California. Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you own a vineyard? My grandfather owned a vineyard, actually. Really? Yeah. Do you know about wine? I mean, I love to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make you necessarily an expert, though. No, I never. I actually don't know that much about wine. I like the red kind better than I like the white kind. Yeah, that does. That, <laughs> that's not really known about wine, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Is the is the movie good? I haven't seen it yet because I'm too scared. I think it's really scary. Yeah. I, the clip you just watched, my character was so scared because she was raped by a tree right before you saw that. A tree. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, cool, oh boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, evergreen or, uh, uh, I don't know. It was foreign tree. It was a new foreign, Zealand, yeah, so. I might have uh, guess a foreign <laughs> tree, yeah. So, uh, uh trees, uh, you like them? Love for them or against them? Uh, <coughs> Yeah, no, they're, they're Northern California. Oh, yeah, Northern California, you got them big uh, redwood trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what part of Northern California are you from? I'm from Marin County. Oh, that's the other side of San Francisco, right? It's across the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, no, it's nice over there, but it's very wet and closed in. And if you guys had some haggis, you'd have Scotland right there. If we had some what? Haggis, you know haggis. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No. Oh. <laughs> 
It's a Scottish delicacy. It's like a, it's like a spicy sausage made of sheep bits. I like spicy sausage. You like spicy sausage? Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> you don't, don't be ashamed. You like spicy sausage, you go and have some. It's America. You're all right. So have you moved down here or are you still living in Northern California? I moved here three years ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Now that's tricky for a young girl to move here. Did you move here on your own or? I, I, I moved here with a friend. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> still a friend today? No. I see. <laughs> It's very tricky, though, moving to this. There's a very... I think this town, maybe you'll disagree, I think this town, when you move here, is very, very difficult to get to know people. Yeah, it took me until, like, two weeks ago to start liking it. I really feel like that. I, I felt kind of lonely. Yeah, it can be very lonely because, you know, everyone's got an agenda. Everyone's kind of looking around, see you looking over your shoulder, see if they can see, you know, Jeff Peterson or the horse. <laughs> Drew Carey. Did you meet Drew Carey? I did. What's that with that little beard thing you saw? He's I actually didn't even notice. Yeah, no, he's got a little beard thing going on there. He looks like he's from Northern California, you know what I mean? <laughs> Are you kind of a hippie chick then? Is that, what, that your thing? Um, uh, my mom's kind of a hippie chick, but I, 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 I like nice things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah. <laughs> It's not, it's not, a, hippies are not like, oh, we just like crap things. They like nice things. <laughs> That's not the essential nature of the hippie movement. It's like, let's drive around in our VW vans and find crap things. Yeah. You like nice, what kind of nice things do you like? Spicy sausages <laughs> and wine. So you like spicy sausages and red wine. Yeah. That's all right. It's cool. Good. <laughs> Do you like going to see scary movies? No, no. No, I get really scared. That's the whole idea, though. They're scary movies. I know, but know? I don't know why people like that. A lot of people do, though. You're in the number one movie in the country, and that's because a lot of people like getting the crikey scared right out of them. You know? I know. Do you like that? No, I do not, I Missy. I do not. I've been married twice and divorced <laughs> twice. I don't need any more frightens. <laughs> Don't applaud my pain. <laughs> what are you going to do now then? Nice romantic comedy. That would cheer you up. I would up. love to do romantic yes, comedy. Yes, that's what sure. you want. Do a romantic comedy where, like, you, you, this guy and you really like him, and then, like, oh, it doesn't really work out, and you can't really communicate, and then you go ice skating, and it's great. And then where does he go? And then, <laughs> then you're going to go and take a plane at the end of the movie, and you're going to get on the plane, and he's like, running, running, and the plane's like pulling out of the thing. You're like, oh my God! Oh, the ice skating part. Yeah, you, the ice skate. Do you ice skate? I mean, no, but it could happen. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We can do a different scene, no ice skating. We'll make it uh, Frisbee. You good with Frisbee? Sure. I'll test you right now. Okay. All right, because we're out of time. You want to throw Frisbees at my horse? That's not a double entendre. I got a horse over there and I got some Frisbees. Sure. You want to? You want to throw some Frisbees? Yeah. All right. Throw them at my horse. On you go. You can do it. Like that. There you go. Uh. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Jay Lee, everybody! Cat went poof there. Do you see that? Yeah. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.